if you use Discord on Linux, there is a 99% chance that you've seen this prompt before. This doesn't make any sense. Discord has an internal updater. Why is it saying that there's a new version available? It should have downloaded the new version. The reason for this is because Discord is terribly designed on Linux and not designed at all around the way that a package manager works. So when you install Discord, it effectively has, I guess, two separate versions. It's got the Discord version itself. So this is your Discord client. This is your Discord interface and things like that. If you go and use the web version of Discord, you're going to see the exact same thing but it also has the launcher version. Now, the launcher version on Linux is controlled by your Linux package manager. This is the only thing that gets to update that. So when the auto updater tries to go and update the launcher, it realizes that it can't do that. So it then says, hey, look, there's a new version available. Go and download that. Whereas over on the Windows side, it has permission to update the launcher. And the thing you've probably noticed is sometimes when there's a new version available, there's not a new version available. You run a system update, your package manager does not have this newest magical version of Discord, and you just can't use it. You might swap over to the Canary version or the web client, but the one you wanted to use just doesn't function. Now, I thought there was no way to fix this, and a lot of people I talked to didn't know there was a way to fix as well. Turns out, there actually is. Firstly, this solution, I don't know why it's an option. I don't know why Discord exposes this, but we can trick the launcher into thinking it's a different version. The way we do this is by modifying the build info JSON file. So the way to find this is very simple. If we go and run which Discord, this will tell us where the Discord binary is located. Very often it's going to be in either user slash bin slash Discord or just user slash discord. Now, if we go and embed that command inside of another command, that command being the file command, it'll tell us where that sim link points to. So file, which discord. And right now that's located in slash opt slash discord. The reason why I say you should run this command rather than just trying to go directly to this directory is because it's not always going to be in this place. This is basically a way to check where it's going to be. So let's go in CD into slash opt slash discord and inside of here there's going to be a directory called resources so the file we need to modify this is going to require root privileges is going to be the actually i need to use nvim the build underscore info dot json file and basically all we do in here is increment this number right here don't worry about touching the release channel that just says whether it's stable or canary or anything like that but if you go and increment this number up to the next version of the launcher, it's going to skip the check. Once again, I don't know why this option's available, but it is. One thing to keep in mind with using this solution, though, is when you update Discord inside of your package manager, this file is going to get overwritten. So every time it breaks, you'll need to go and do it again. That's why on my system, what I'd recommend that other people do is just do the second solution. So secondly, we have the more, I guess, sensible solution. This is the version that will keep working as you go through different versions of Discord. So inside of your .config directory, there is going to be a directory in here called Discord. This is where Discord stores its config files and a bunch of other interesting stuff like that. But the only thing that we care about is the settings.json file. This file effectively controls a couple of basic things, like whether the app should be minimized, the window boundaries, and things like that. What we care about, though, is adding this right here. It is not going to be in the file by default, but what you want to add is skip underscore host underscore update, all in capitals like I've written here, and then set that to true. This is going to skip the bit where it tries to check if the launcher has been updated and it just works then. Why this isn't the default and why every distro shipping Discord doesn't include this, I don't know. But that'll fix it. Do keep in mind, though, that neither of these solutions are guaranteed to be permanent. If you leave your system for six months, a year, two years, or even longer... 
I don't know what the launcher is going to do. Let's say there's like five or ten different versions between what the application expects there to be and what the launcher actually is. It may keep working. It may not. I have not tested it for that long, but you should just update your system. And if you update your system, then Discord is only going to be at most maybe like one or two versions behind. Alternatively, you could just skip all that work and not fix it. And if you don't need to use push to talk, the web client is going to do everything you need Discord to do. It's not like Discord on Linux has the uh, Discord overlay anyway, so there's not really anything you're going to be losing out on. But here's something funny about this. I didn't know this was a thing until maybe a week ago, something like that. I have no idea how nobody had ever told me about this solution before, because it's on the Arch Wiki. Like, I don't know how long it's been here for, but there's been this section on the Arch Wiki explaining the problem, and also the NixOS Wiki. It has the solution. The Gen 2 Wiki has, like, a jank solution, which is just manually install the new version, but the skip host update has been here. I restate my point. Why is this not the way that Discord is shipped on every single Linux distro? But it is what it is, and now you know the solution. So, since you know the solution, make sure that more people find out. I don't care if you share this video, you just share the wiki page, or whatever you want to do, but make sure that everybody using Discord on Linux knows about this fix, and make sure this problem just vanishes away. So let me know, did you already know about this solution and you're just watching the video for the algorithm or did you actually learn something today? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video and if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Barrel Pay, link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea, I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays, that's going to be it for me and I'm out.